Morning, Stephen. Morning, chaps. Can we just uh, first of all check team news, and then can also just ask? Um, obviously, we saw at the game the other night what it meant the the prospect of winning the league meant to the fans with the the firework display and all the miles going off. I, think I certainly got a, a fright when it when it went off. Um, just wondering how easy for you guys to be to sort of keep in focus what this potential title means to to the fans and uh, has that been important to do so through the course of the season? Well, look, the fans are the priority here and we, we, we totally understand and we can certainly relate to how they're feeling at the moment. We know there's a real excitement and rightly so. Um, and we want them to really enjoy this time and, and really revel in the moment. Of course, you know, the firework display was impressive for sure. Um, I agree with you. I got a bit of a fright myself and it went on for some time and uh, some of my players were dodging uh, the fireworks when they were landing on the pitch. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we would say just try and keep that away from the pitch if you want so we can focus on the job we're trying to do. But we totally understand and can relate to the excitement levels. I think it's fantastic um, what's happening at the moment and, and we need to enjoy uh, every single day as they go by. Yeah, the important thing for us is to remain focused and uh, try and get this over the line as quick as we can. That starts obviously with St Mirren. Uh, be a tough test. We know they'll be a stubborn team and difficult to play against. They'll have confidence because they've already won uh, away, uh, you know, in Glasgow uh, recently. So they're going to come with the tails up and, and ready to try and cause an upset again. And then they're the only team that have managed to beat us this season. So we're, we're ready for that challenge. We're looking forward to it, and the team will remain uh, focused and ready for that. Um, we're in a good place. We're going in. We've got a real strong home record and we want to pile everything into this that we've got. Um, this, obviously, um, we've got an opportunity to go and make this 99.9% done and that's what we want to do. Uh, sorry, squad. How's the squad looking for? Uh, Balogun will return to the squad. Um, he'll train this morning. Assuming he comes to that, he'll be... He'll be um, added into the mix. Um, Kamar, Ruth and Ryan Jack are on course to return to training after the weekend. Um, James will be a bit longer and um, Nico's obviously the long-term one. We're looking at next season for Nico now. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Mark, go ahead. Mark, would you go? Morning, Stephen. Uh, Morning. Wednesday, Wednesday's win means it's a full year since your last league defeat. Just how impressive is that as an achievement and how do you reflect on that year given how it looked like things were going really wrong at that time, but it's just so different now. Yeah, well, look, I haven't really had much time to reflect on, on the last year. I've been obviously really focusing on what's coming in, in terms of what's in front of us and the challenges. And um, in, in the right time, at the right time, I will reflect on um, the whole tenure, if you like. But there's obviously been a remarkable change in our mentality and our consistency from from 12 months ago. I think, obviously, <coughs> losing, losing to Hamilton in the manner that we lost uh, wasn't a good day and wasn't a good time. Not a game that we're proud of at all, but, um, you know, what we've done over the past 12 months has been super impressive and the players deserve all the credit for that. Um, but football's a funny game and then um, we can change at any given moment and that's what happened from that day. Charles, go ahead, please. Hi, Stephen. Just returning to the to the supporters. Obviously, depending on your result tomorrow and on Sunday, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of reports that a lot of the fans might want to congregate at Ibrox to to welcome you, to congratulate you. Given the current circumstances, it's fair to say that the the club's message is celebrate, but try and stay away because of the current measures we're under. Well, I think obviously we all have to continue to try and abide by the rules, the government rules, and and respect the the social distancing and and stuff like that. But um, at the same time, this is obviously out of my control. Um, this is when you have to leave it to the security experts and the people higher up at the club to um, deal with these situations. I know there's a lot of rumours going around at the moment, but for me, my job is obviously to focus on the game and try and get three points. That's the priority for me. Um, I think people have to obviously understand the, the, the situation that our supporters are in, you know, what they've been through. Um, so... Yeah, you know, the priority for me is that the fans stay safe. Um, that's the priority. But for me, from a football point of view, the focus is the game and trying to trying to win that game. Gabriel, go ahead. Hi, Stephen. Uh, 
I know you got asked about Alfredo Morelos a lot, <laughs> and obviously he, ha- he has had a very good season. But but recently, kind of since about February and, and this month, the goals have returned. Why do you think that is? Do you think it was always just coming, or, or do you think he's done something differently? Well, look, I think with every player, form's only temporary, uh, but class is permanent. So you know when. If someone's having a sticky patch in front of goal or they're having a dip in form or it's just not happening for certain individuals, you know when they're top players, it's only going to be a matter of time before the form returns. Um, he probably hasn't been as prolific as, as last year in terms of numbers, but um, I think we're seeing a lot of maturity, not just in his football, but also off the pitch as well. Um, his contribution of late has been um, really important for the team. Um, but I think if you look at the whole season so far, the, the, the teams being the star, we've managed to cope without um, any individual with injuries and suspensions. And um, the size of the squad and the quality in the squad has coped extremely well. Um, and we're not reliant on any individual. Um, that's the that's the most important thing. And that's the progress we've made as a group. So it's a fantastic place to be in as the manager of this team. And um, we're really looking forward now to all the challenges that are in front of us. Andrew McLean, please. Stephen, when this could potentially be a, a massive weekend for everyone connected with Rangers, is there anything special you'll need to say to the players to make sure that you know they, they go out and just make sure they get the job done tomorrow and then Sunday will take care of itself? Yeah, listen, you know, some things in football are out of your control, some are in, uh, in your control. The only thing we can do is, is make sure that the players are prepared. You know, we've got one more session to go here this morning. Um, we'll put a game plan uh, across to the team and um, the only thing we can control is the performance and um, trying to continue our excellent record at home, go and win the game and then let's see what happens from there. Everything else will, will take care of itself and um, it'll happen when it's going to happen. The important thing for us is to do our part and that's to be taken in. David Edgar, please. Morning, Stephen. Good morning. Um, the, the the impressive thing about the team, one of the impressive thing about the team in the last few matches has been the fact that it, it keeps going till the final minute in, in all of these games. Is that a testament as well to their skill as also to the strength of their mentality? For sure. I think the mentality has been bang on since the first day of pre-season. Um, I think we really set down a market in pre-season, how we went about it. You know, the victories we were getting, the clean sheets we were getting. Yeah. You know, the stuff off the pitch in terms of the bond and everything just fell into place. And um, we, we've built on that as the season's gone along. Um, this, you know, to be to be a successful team, it's not just about having talented players. It's about all the different um, factors that the, the team needs. And one of the main things is spirit and fight. Um, and we've got that in abundance at the moment. I think the best thing in the progression in this team is we find a way. Um, and even when we're not ourselves or we're having an off day, we, we refuse to be beat or we have been you know, doing that so far. If we can maintain that from now till the end of the season, um, not only will we become champions, we, we can also maybe add to that as well. That's the exciting part. Finally, uh, Ronnie, go ahead, please. Hi, Stephen. You mentioned that, obviously, that scenario of potentially winning the league without actually playing. In terms of, of you, there's sort of two camps that so Rangers fans would say they just want to win the title as soon as possible, but obviously some want to win it while the team are playing. What camp do you sit in? And just if you do get the result on Saturday, what's what's your plans for Sunday in terms of will you go a nice walk in the park or will you sit there and watch the telly? Well, I think I think every fan deserves to think and want whatever they want. You know, they're entitled to their own opinion. People will want this to happen. Uh, for their own satisfaction. For me, um, it's about becoming champions as quick as we can and in any way we can do that. Um, I don't think you can you can choose sometimes it's out of your control. The important thing for us as a group is to just keep winning football matches and it'll happen when it happens. Um, but, you know, I totally respect the fact that some fans might want to win it this way or might want to win it that way, but yeah, I don't think anyone will be complaining when we actually get this over the line. The important thing is to... Um, get that trophy back, uh, get 55, knock all the 54s off the walls, change them. That's the main thing for me and really add to the wonderful history at this club. That's that's the key. If it happens on Sunday, if it happens in April or May, I don't care as long as it happens. Uh, for me, the important thing is get three points and it's obviously 99.9% done. Any plans for Sunday? Yes, but 
I've never told you any of my plans before, and I don't have any plans to tell you any of my plans moving forward. Your case. Thanks, Stephen. <clears throat> Thanks, Stephen. Yeah.